<clears throat> thank you and thank you. <laughs> in, in reply to my honorable and distinguished opponent, <laughs> all I will say about the housing problem is that it is a problem. Wow. <laughs> but I assure you that myself and my staff will look into the subject with all the diligence at our command. Thank you. <laughs> now that the two candidates have had a chance to meet each other face to face, we'll take a one minute break and then come back for the debate. Hey, Frank Lamar's doing great. He's gonna win by a landslide. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be under it. <laughs> hey, Lamar don't care about me no more. Oh, come on, Frank. I mean, he moved to Sacramento and leave me in that house all by myself. Oh, then don't say that. Then why I'm gonna leave? No, sir, don't. Sir, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I couldn't help overhearing. Um, did you have something to say? Something to say? Uh, well, what's something to say? Well, yeah, yes, sir. You were standing here, and I, uh, well, I thought you might have a question or, or something to say to one of the candidates. You see, we're newsmen, and we'd like to hear something that's newsworthy. Oh, mm -hmm. you're a newsman. That's right, sir. And, yeah, I got something to say to the, the candidate. I got something to say to the honorable and distinguished dummy here. You go right ahead, sir. Well, my son, but that's him. Yes, sir. Son, come on home, will you? If you come on home, I swear, I'll stop drinking and give us smoking and won't fool around with no nice girls. <laughs> and, and you want to have a girl downstairs on the couch every night? I don't care. It's you, because you're younger than I am. Hey, come on back, son. I'm not kidding you. Just be careful when you're down there and don't make me no grandfather before my time. <laughs> and, and this girl, son, I know I asked you to be a simulant for the money, but I don't want you to be a sin for the money. Come home, you make a better jump man. Sir, uh, sir, uh, are you related to Mr. Sanford? Damn right I'm related to him. I'm his long lost father. Yes, sir. Come on home, sir. Sir, sir, excuse me, you, uh, you do realize that we're on television. I didn't... Huh? We're on television, sir. We on television now? Uh, yes, sir, that camera right there. Everything we said was on television? Yes, sir, everything. And it's live now? Right there, sir. Hey, oh, excuse me a minute. Yes, sir. Can you back up a little bit? Yes, sir. If I didn't care... difference you don't care oh come on pop that's right you don't care you move to sacramento and ain't nothing here for me i might as well just walk outside that door and fade on into the sunset pop the sun went down six hours ago <laughs> you don't care look i do care man I've, I've withdrawn my candidacy i've quit yeah you quit because i embarrassed you Yes, you embarrassed me, but look, I finally realized that I wasn't qualified, man. What do people need is somebody that knows what's going on in the community. And that person is Harriet Radner. I think she'll make a fine assemblywoman. And it's not your fault. It is my fault, too. It's all my fault. I feel like just walking down the street and just alone contemplating where I failed you. Oh, come on. I think I'll stop, stop by Sanctified City and pull my soul out to Reverend Spike. <laughs> Well, if you think it'll make you feel better. It'll make me feel better, son. Hey, Fred, will you please come on? Our pretty little pigeons are waiting out here in the truck. Uh, it'll really make me feel better, son. <laughs> really? 